Hello Dr. Faradina and hi friends. Today we're going to talk about the tropical peat swamp forest of Southeast Asia. So in natural conditions there's nine characteristics of the peatlands. First being low ash and nutrient content. Second is high acidity. The third is the peatland is very wet and it is 100% rain fed. Next is the substrate in the peatland is not decomposed at all or it is incompletely decomposed. Fifth point is the continuum of forest communities with increasing distance onto the peat dome which reflects the progressive increase of peat thickness and degree of water logging. Sixth point is the water table which is near the peat surface and it rises during rainfall and falls during dry season. It also has a low surface gradient where the water moves slowly to maintain the moisture. We also have a hummock halo topography here where the hummock traps the woody material and the halo is devoid of them. And at last we have black waters which is due to high concentration of tannins. As for tree adaptations, the buttress and steel roots increase the stability, knee roots and new metaphors obtain the oxygen, mats of fine roots enhance the nutrient uptake and with increasing distance onto the peat dome, the adaptations intensify. As for ecosystem services, it has a very rich biodiversity which is mostly endemic and it does hydrological regulation where during rainfall it prevents flood and during dry season it maintains river flow and it also stores carbon below ground in the peat and the forest vegetation above maintains the peat's role to store and carbon sequester. So do we have a doomsday? Yeah, but why? Because of timber extraction, plantations and forest fire during dry season. Though what happens? First, the tree cutting. It reduces the supply of organic matter which in return stops the peat formation. This is bad. The second is tree cutting plus drainage. So the water table is lowered and it renders two things. First is oxidation of stored carbon consistently equating major amount of CO2 greenhouse gases emission. And the next is natural protection of wetness is no more, equating increased risk of fire, especially the ones underground. The third is the drainage itself. Lowering of water table causes peat compaction and subsidence till sea level or river level and this equates flooding. So is there survival? Well, the prospects are not promising 2050 onwards.